welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Connor Ben pops dirty and look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And according to Michael Benson, Connor Ben has reportedly tested positive in a VADA drug test ahead of his fight Saturday night with Chris Eubank Jr. The substance is on the WADA ban list. It's claimed that Chris Eubank still wants the fight to go ahead regardless. And this is according to Michael Benson, Talk Sport, and Mail Sport. Not only that, you know, you've seen a statement from Eddie Hearn insisting that the Chris Eubank versus Connor Ben will still go ahead. That fight will not be stopped. The exact statement reads, you know, we have been made aware of that a random VADA test for Connor Ben has been conducted and has returned an adverse finding uh, for trace amounts of a fertility drug. The B sample is yet to be tested, meaning that no true violation has been confirmed. Indeed, Mr. Ben has not been charged with any rule violation. He is not suspended and he remains free to fight. Mr. Ben has since passed a doping control test conducted by the UK Anti-Doping Agency, the Anti-Doping Authority, um, to which British Board of Boxing Control has delegated its doping control testing for the bout. Mr. Ben has passed all doping control tests conducted by UCAT. Both fighters have taken medical and legal advice and are aware of all relevant information and wish to proceed with the bout this Saturday. So both guys are moving forward despite the fact that Conor Ben has popped dirty. Uh, Vada caught him. Uh, he's passing all of his UCAD tests. And right now they're waiting. They're waiting right now. They're waiting right now on the B sample, but that's not going to be in before this fight happens. So this fight is going to happen, and it looks like that, you know, Conor Ben could possibly be on the juice for this fight. I mean, you got to think about it. This is a guy moving up from welterweight, facing a full-fledged middleweight at a catchweight. So, you know, this guy could be wanting an advantage. He could be looking for something to give him an edge. So if he wins this fight against Chris Eubank Jr., it's going to be meaningless. It's going to be meaningless because people are going to look at it and say, well, you were on the juice. And if somehow he loses this fight to Chris Eubank, it's going to be like, well, you know, you were on the juice and you still lost. What was the point? So at the end of the day, we'll see how this plays out. Men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.